I've wanted to build a marble clock forever. And I'm not talking about an hourglass style clock because... Marbles don't flow. Nothing. This kind of clock could work. One marble for the hours and another one for the minutes. But I don't like analog clocks. I want to make a digital one. So I need to make a seven segment display with marbles. <laughs> and this is definitely a seven segment digit. I made some calculations and then settled on four marbles per segment. And now we can show the time using marbles. But as you may already be aware of, time changes constantly. And every minute we need to change these numbers. So I've decided to put the marbles into channels, one for every row and add a bunch of black marbles to keep the white ones in place. And now the only thing left to do is after every minute, discard the current time and slide in a new one. I've lost them. And to make this even more fun, these are supposed to be 16 mm round glass marbles. And as you can see, nor are they 16 mm in diameter, and I wouldn't call this round. And many of them have marks in them or are plain broken. But we will deal with that when the time comes, because now we need a way to release all the marbles at once. I've done a few small scale tests and finally have settled with this design here. To move this gate in here, I've been debating myself between servos and solenoids. And I would rather use a solenoid because they move way faster and I like the sound. It's a clock. Marble stopping thing ready, all the channels that will show the time ready. And there are a lot of parts to this build, but I need a way to join everything together. So I cut and drill all of these aluminum profiles. So I can build a frame to join everything together. Let's do that now. The time will be displayed with marbles in this panel in here and then the marbles will be released by this gate in here and now we need a, a more organized way of disposing of the balls. Something where I don't have to be picking marbles from the floor all the time. Now that there is a way for the marbles to safely reach the bottom, we need a way to bring them back up. That's why I'm going to build a marble lift.
and these are all 56 links for the elevator. And now if I throw some marbles in here, and spin this up, It seems that the marbles are getting caught at the end of this ramp in here, because if, if I push the marbles... I think we can agree that that's not ideal, so give me a second. Or a, a couple of hours, at least a couple of hours. Printing a new one of these is going to take a while, so in the meantime, a quick ad from today's video sponsor... PVKs. PVKs is a next-generation AutoCAD-based photovoltaic software for ground, commercial and industrial roof-mounted projects focused on automation and accuracy, allowing to simulate the actual location of a solar plant from the early stages of planning and incorporating 3D topographical data points. PVKs is the ideal choice for companies undertaking large commercial and industrial projects as well as utility-scale plants as it includes features that go from flexible 3D modeling in complex terrain and slope analysis for ground-mounted projects to inverter placement and layout generation for roof-mounted setups. By offering features for prototyping, electrical design, stringing, shading analysis, terrain analysis, and automatic generation of construction documentation, PVKs enables engineers and designers to take a project from its initial stages all the way to the procurement phase, all without having to switch between different tools or software platforms, while reducing the learning curve and improving productivity. And PVKs has recently acquired Anderson Optimization, the world's most popular solar seating software platform. To know more, you can try PVKs for free following the link in the description. And now let's see if this new print has fixed the issue. I've redesigned this straight ramp, and now it has this kind of a ramp at the end that I hope will ease the marbles into the elevator holes. More or less, all the marbles seem to get into the holes, so I think it is good enough, but, but I, I cannot let this go now, because there is no motor, and with the weight of the marbles, everything will roll down, and I will be, again, picking marbles from the floor. So, so I will wire the motor now, so I don't have to do this by hand. The motor, that's what I wanted to say. The motor. The motor is wired, so let's see how big of a mess I can make with it. I think it works quite nicely, but we now need a way to make the, the ball follow the the links before they come down the other side and make a mess. I'd, I'd say 50%. And to make the marbles fall from the links, I made this kind of comb in here that is kind of flexible that will push the marbles from behind. Hopefully. It works. Now we have the marbles out of the links, but we need now a way to get the marbles back on the circuit, so I will finish this part in here.
The Marvel path is complete and it seems to work, but I'm having a, a tiny small issue at the end. Let's see if you can spot it. It seems that the marbles come too fast down this ramp in here and jump this little fence in here. So I printed this that goes in here and should stop the marbles from, from escaping. And that's it. A marble run that works first try, right? Not quite. I've been filing and sanding the marble paths for the last three days. I, I even I even made my own tools to file and sand the interior of the marble channels. It's has been, has been quite a workout. <laughs> and another thing that took quite a lot of time is, is this thing that I said a, a few minutes ago. But we will deal with that when the time comes. It took quite a few hours. These are the bad marbles and these are the good marbles. I, I'm not sure now if I have enough of them. And just to show you how bad it was, I will throw in the machine a, a sample of both boxes. You will see. So it was quite bad, <laughs> quite bad. But what's important is that we have a good set of marbles to show the time in this section in here. But time changes every minute and the marble selection mechanism that I will install in the machine is not fast enough to do it in real time. So I added another gate in here to have another set of marbles in the back preparing the next minute's time. So it may seem that I'm making good progress and soon we will be able to start selecting marbles to show the time, right? Not so fast. I told you that I had to sand and file the prints and mess up with them a lot to make the marbles run smooth. But maybe I went too far. When I was working on the paths, I was only checking if the paths were large enough not if they were too large. And some of the marbles are way smaller than 16 millimeters, so they can easily escape the channels. So I just had to redesign, reprint, and reinstall these two small parts in here. And as it seems that this project is going to be one of those, while I was testing the marble paths, I noticed that the marble gates were starting to give up when there were a lot of marbles on them. I tried different geometries, New bracket for the gate, new brackets for the solenoid, but in the end there was only one solution, a servo. So with working marble paths, working marble gates, we are ready to start selecting the marbles, right? Except that when the marbles fall from this ramp in here, they don't always go in a straight line. And sometimes they hit this wall in here, and that's how I'm getting the strongest back of all of YouTube. So I just had to make one of these that is uh, a little bit longer on this side in here, and, and that should be it. Right? Right? If you want to see if I can finish this machine or if it can finish me first, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members. Thank you. And now please go and make something!